Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank everyone for coming today. My name is Fatima Javed, and I'm from Pakistan. I'm the Vice President of International Club. I would like to thank all the members of International Club, the faculty, the staff, and everyone else for being here to celebrate NAB Day. We celebrate the diversity of the world here at BCC. I would like to extend a special thanks to Dr. Anna Gayat, our Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs, for accepting our invitation to open the event. Vice President of Academic Affairs, Greg, Dean Sarah Morrow and Professor Kenya Ken Carolyn Kenya. Karen Kenya and Anne Maria Anne Marie Donnelly. Yeah. Jos uh, Ferrandi, Vice President of Human Resource Tala Tafa. Tafa. Now I would like to introduce you to our guest, Dr. Anna Gayat. Buenos días, bienvenidos. Yo soy de aquí. Good morning, everybody. I'm originally from Argentina by way of Western Mass with a hiatus in Michigan and back to Massachusetts. So um, it is a pleasure to be here with all of you to kind of share this common ground that we all have. There's very few of us that come from one place, whether it is by birth or by experience. We all share many countries inside of us. In Argentina, we have a joke that we say, well, if you go to Mexico, people come from the Mayas. And if you go to Peru, people come from the Incas. And I know that that's stereotypical, but that's OK. But if you go to Argentina, people come from the boats. Because everybody in Argentina, with very, very few exceptions, has at least two grandparents from someplace else. In my case, my grandparents came from Spain, from France, and from the Basque country. So we are all a mix within ourselves, not only by blood, but also by our experience. You hear quite often that the world is getting smaller. In many ways, the world is getting smaller because now it's so easy to connect with people that are halfway across the world. But that makes it smaller in effort, but makes it bigger in experience. So even though the world is getting smaller, as in, well, going from here to here is much faster, much shorter than what it was before, our internal world, our experience, is becoming bigger and bigger as time goes by. And our big thing at BCC about changing life one learner at a time we're not just changing the people that are in here, we're changing people all over the world. Because when we go back and visit with our families, or when we have a friend that is halfway across the world and you post on Facebook your comments of the day, you're changing their lives. So the impact of what we do today here is so huge and it goes so much across the world. So with that idea in mind, let's celebrate who we are, where we come from, and where we're going. Thank you. Thank you very much. Before we start with the recitation of the countries, I would like to invite those students who have dressed so nicely to be here today to come forward. Please, Fatima. Come on, girls. They decided that they wanted to wear uh, the typical clothing from their countries, 
um, just to teach us a little bit more about their culture. So I'm going to ask them to say their names, where they're from, and um, in the, the occasion in which they would wear uh, such clothing. Good morning. Uh, my name is Jessica uh, Jawara. I'm from Mali. This is my uh, costume traditional in my country. We go to in every ceremony. Marriage. Angola. Angola. All right. I don't. I hope I don't make you dizzy. Give her a little star. When you put it on the map. Argentina. Thank you. 
Brazil.
one of the traditional food we have is fish. As the Chinese phrase, may there be surprise every year, uh, sounds the same as may there be fish every year. Thank you. <laughs> Colombia. Colombia is known for the production of the best coffee in the world. It is a land of writers, poets, and musicians. Congo. No. <laughs> Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic, we make food that we eat is fried with beans, chicken, and potato, and plantain, and bananas. But, my friend, there is Dominican Republic. <laughs> El Salvador. Hello everyone. Uh, I would like to say that my country is located in Central America and our official language is Spanish. question was if I want to say something. <laughs> uh, I'm going to speak in behalf of France, Germany, and Ireland uh, because, uh, well, first of all, I was asked to do so. Uh, one of the things that I notice on the list is that Poland is not mentioned. And in Fall River, there is a great Polish community. Uh, so that so we should mention that. And it's connected with France, and I, uh, if you suffer with me in chemistry, you know that uh, Marie Kladowska Curie, everyone knows as Madame Curie, a uh, wonderful researcher who was not French. She was uh, mar she married Pierre Curie, uh, but uh, uh, she was Marie Kladowska. She was born in Poland. And a nice story for ladies to remember. And I tell my daughter this all the time. Uh, Marie was uh, the eldest of a number of siblings. Uh, and uh, they were boys. And, uh, and uh, unfortunately, her mother passed away. 
and it fell to her to see to it that the boys were all educated. And she did. And then when the last boy uh, finished gymnasium, uh, she said, uh, it's my turn. And they said, oh, you're a woman. Why do you need to be educated? Uh, simply get married and have children and someone will take care of you. And she said, no, I want to go to school. So they said, all right, she's been so generous to them. So that uh, she uh, did go to school. And then when she completed gymnasium, uh, I said, okay, now we should get married. And she said, no, I want to go to the university. And uh, so I said, well, you know, if you must. So that uh, they said, well, which is it going to be? Craft Golf or Warsaw? And she said, no, I want to go to Paris, to the gymnasium, to the uh, Sorbonne. And, uh, and then she followed them by saying, I want to major in physics. I said, a woman majoring in physics at the Sorbonne on Herida. And so she did. Then she went to the Sorbonne and uh, she excelled. She was the best in her class. Uh, and uh, she received her degree and then uh, she decided that uh, she wanted to become a professor. A professor of physics, but there were only male professors of physics and not a woman professor of physics. And she became a professor, but not immediately. She was an instructor and you know, had to go through the, the uh, ascendancy process. And uh, she was the best instructor in physics and was not ever presented with the opportunity to become a full professor. Why? Because she was a woman. And uh, she then uh, did some research, won the Nobel Prize for that research. And in spite of that, she was still not considered for a professorship because she was a woman. And uh, she then did more research and received the Nobel Prize again. And uh, by the way, she to this day is the only person in history to have won the Nobel Prize twice in her own field, uh, in her own right. The only other person who has is Linus Pauling, who won the uh, Nobel Prize in uh, chemistry for his uh, work with the alpha helix, which eventually developed into the double helix, the DNA. Um, and, but in spite of two Nobel Prizes, she was not accepted uh, as a professor. How, she was a woman. However, she married a poor, a caregiver. And here, uh, unfortunately, as time went on, they had a daughter, Irene. Uh, uh, he was uh, trampled by horses on the streets of Paris. Uh, and uh, she became a, a, a widow, but she still continued her research. At that juncture, she took Pierre's professorship. And she, a, she has announced a new year of and Marie Curie, don't forget, is Marie Sklodowska Curie. And in, in me here uh, is the name Pelletier on the outside, but my mother just gave me a good swift boot because she said, hey, good part of you is Prospery from County Down in Ireland. So many of us are, uh, com are combinations of many. And our children, uh, my wife and I, uh, our children are French, Irish, and German, because my wife is German. And so as you see one another, we are not all of one uh, origin, but as someone said, of many origins. And uh, our primary speaker uh, said that, uh, you know, the Earth is getting small, and it is. However, we are moving off Earth, and in 19, in 2000, yes, 1931, in 2031, we will have persons on Mars, and uh, this is a one-way trip to Mars, and if you want to read, see something about it, uh, do a Google or a Bing search uh, to die on Mars. It simply means, uh, if you're going to go to Mars on that trip, then they're taking volunteers, by the way. Uh, it, you will uh, stay there for the duration. 
But now the person there will be my friends. And I do hope that you now, today, expand your observations from here to Mars. Because for all of you, the sky is the limit. And then some. Thank you. Germany. Well, Professor Pelletier was just up here representing uh, France, Ireland, and Germany. So I think we'll just place a couple more stars on the map, if that's okay. Unless somebody else wants to represent Germany. Sally Gow. So Ireland. 
island. Well, Professor Pelletier was up here too, talking about all three countries. So, Jose, do you want to place a star on Ireland? Please. Jamaica. Jamaica. Nigeria. Nigeria. Well, thank you so much. It's, I'm very glad to be here. It's good to see all of you. You know, when you look around the room, you can tell we are all very different. They have so much in common. You know, Nigeria has about 173 million people. That's a lot of people. What that means is the resources are very limited. You've got to work hard. And the same happens in this country. There are over 300 million people in America today. And resources are very limited. You know what they always say in Nigeria to me when I was growing up? Tough work, hard work. Hard work doesn't kill, but laziness kills. <coughs> so whatever you do, my friends, work hard, and I can guarantee you, listen, I'm from Nigeria. If I can make it here, every single one of you can make it. And you have to work hard. Don't let nobody tell you Oh, you don't speak the right English. No, you do. You gotta work hard. That's what I do. Work hard, my friends, and 
and success of you. I can guarantee you that. Good luck. Pakistan. Peru. Portugal. I'm not going to say nothing, but I'm going to do. Um, Puerto Rico has a very hot weather, and we don't have winter or spring or fall. It's just hot weather. <laughs> um, the next one is Russia. Russia. Russian, Romanian, Ukraine. Um, 
We are known by um, unusual diversity of uh, landscape uh, reservation, and we are very famous in producing wine. United States. United States. I'm from the United States. Um, Pastor Pelletier talked about Polish, and um, the other section of Barra, if you ever have a chance to look at, is Columbia Street. A lot of Portuguese restaurants and markets and a lot of Portuguese restaurants right on top of Main Street. Turkey. Ukraine. Ukraine. Vietnam. There's actually two Vietnamese flags, sorry about that, because there's two Vietnam, the north and the south, and they both have their accents. That's all. That's all, thank you. the students. I would like to invite, where are you? Alsana Kande? Oh, right here, to the podium. Okay, hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Alsana. I'm from Cape Verde. I'm the member of International Club. I would like to thank all for being here in this morning to celebrate University Exit and BCC, and we wish all have a nice day. And I would like to um, ask that we give a huge round of applause to all of the members of the International Club who worked so hard to put this event together. <laughs> you did a wonderful job. Um, we have some refreshments in the back. We would like to invite you to stay and share with us. Um, we wanted to do a little quiz to see if you were paying attention to all of the things that were said today. And we have a prize for the person that answers the questions correctly. Were you taking notes? <laughs> yes or no? Okay, what language is spoken? Well, and I guess the first person that answers the three questions first will take the prize, I guess. Um, what language is spoken in Russia? Well, not Russian. <coughs> Russian. Who, who answered that question first? Oh, you did. Okay, very good. Um, 
In what continent is Vietnam located? Asia. 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 She said first. And um, what was another question that I was going to ask? Hmm? Oh yes. Uh, what country talked about having the best coffee in the world? So you go, well, I'll try one more. Uh, what country talked about having the best wine in the world? Um, what language is um, spoken in Pakistan? Urdu. So two questions, right, for Muna. Uh, and I guess one more question would have to be, um, what language is spoken in Brazil? <laughs> All right, I guess um, Mona will take the prize because she answered two questions right. Uh, but thank you so much for being here today. And uh, please join us from some, for some refreshments.